This week on Council Bluffs News. Camp reads some more. Elementary students gather at Titan Hill Intermediate School to learn the importance of literacy through fun activities. Then, a B-25 bomber visits a local airport. They look into a rare piece of history that was in 15 combat missions from World War II. And George Voltz joins us in studio to talk about the Art of Feedback event taking place at the Council Bluffs Public Library. That and more all on this week's Council Bluffs News. Hello and welcome to this week's Council Bluffs News, I'm Brandon Taverti. Breaking out the tents, being one with nature, and cracking a good old book can be relaxing and enjoyable. A local elementary school combines camping and reading all in one for an evening of fun learning. It's a night of making memories and having a good time. Said it's a fun filled experience. Elementary students and parents gather at Titan Hill for the second annual Camp Read S'more. We decided to have an event where families could come and just experience a camp feel and have a lot of different activities. The camp themed event brings in kids kindergarten through fifth grade Whoa. with photo booths, reading stations, a game called Kahoot and many more activities filling up inside and outside of the school. The purpose of the entertaining stations? To promote literacy for youth in a unique way. School has changed a lot since a lot of the parents went to school. So I think it's fun to see, for them to see the kids in their element and see that we are doing these things but we're making learning very fun. Parents like Chris Eichhorn say the experience is very beneficial for the children. Both of them like to do the educational stuff and when they make it fun like this it's really easy to sell. So what do you think? Very fun. School officials want kids to have a blast at Camp Read S'mores while also emphasizing the value reading has long term. Being able to read is a lifelong skill and so we want to build that culture of literacy and that culture of reading so that people understand the importance of reading every day with their kids and, and the importance that has in their life as they grow older. With the fun, learning experience and camp feel, Please report to the, gym immediately. the event is once again a hit. It's huge. Uh, I was talking to a teacher earlier, said so they had over a thousand RSVPs, so and that's pretty much probably full school attendance. Along with a handful of events, attendees are able to enjoy an authentic camping meal as they chow down on free hot dogs and chips. For more information on upcoming events within the Lewis Central School District, visit lewiscentral.com and click the calendar tab. As someone ages throughout their life, Joints get weaker, which make it harder to move around. The Center and Council Bluffs is doing their part to help, offering unique workouts for seniors. That begins our news around the Bluffs. Thursday, September 21st, Splash Dance takes place at the Center. The aquatic aerobics class is geared towards people 50 and older. These active seniors break a sweat by dancing in the water while listening to some good tunes. Fitness instructor Debbie Gordon says the unique workout is good for the health and is not rough on the body. The beauty when you're in the water, it is so gentle on your joints. So if you would do this same 45 minute exercise on land, it would be very damaging to your hips, to your ankles, to your knees. In the water, you don't feel that. The workout and the dancing comes from the active movement from the body like hopping up and down, twirling the arms and more. If someone is wanting to challenge themselves, other workout products are made available around the pool at the center. For more info on upcoming events at the facility, visit bluffcenter.org. Planes had a big involvement and were one of many key factors to winning World War II. Aircraft fanatics visit a local airport to see a rare combat airplane that saw action over a half a century ago. Friday, September 22nd. 
the commemorative Air Force flies into the Council Bluffs Municipal Airport to display the Made in the Shade B-25 bomber from World War II. Locals are able to look outside the bomber and appreciate the appearance and history of the plane. For flight load master Jerry Washburn, he enjoys showing history to the public, but also enjoys meeting the men who fought in battle. I've met countless actual World War II veterans, some of whom flew on planes like this as well as others, and uh, the sacrifice that their peers made and, and that they made uh, is uh, incalculable and so we consider it a real honor to be able to do this. Washburn said the aircraft flew 15 combat missions and is one of 30 B-25s flying in the world today. This, however, is the only one with combat history. The commemorative Air Force is based out of Arizona and tours around the country. The B-25 was on display in Council Bluffs September 18th through the 22nd. For more information on the organization's next stops, visit AZCAF. Org. The City of Council Bluffs has plenty of things to offer for the citizens who live here. Whether that's the parks, museums, or the events, Council Bluffs makes the list on a national magazine as one of the best places to live. Council Bluffs makes the list on Money Magazine as one of the best places to live in America. CB is ranked number 64 out of 100 cities on the list. Some factors on how the city cracked the list is the cost of living, average commute time, and more. Mayor Matt Walsh feels the city proves every day why it's one of the best places to live. The economy is pretty steady, um, readily available jobs, um, and we just have a lot of uh, opportunities for recreational and cultural experiences, and so uh, um, always been proud to be of, from Council Bluffs. The home of the Lust Hills have been mentioned in other magazines as well. CB made the list as being an all-American city and great places to live. To check out more on the ranking and the cities above and below Council Bluffs, visit the magazine online at time.com. With fall arriving, a good old-fashioned family adventure is being held. Kind of a throwback. A pastime that many won't forget. People did kites a long for a long time, and uh, they're just fun. I mean, they can they make different kinds of kites. The kids have a really have a chance to see what it like used to be. For customers like Melissa Herrer, it is a unique experience for her children. Interesting for them to see kites. We have small kites at home, but it's really fun to come out and see the bigger kites up in the air. And Although the kites are the main focus, Ditmars has a lot to offer. Apparently it's really apple picking. It's that time of season. People like to come out, take a take a ride behind the tractor, go through the corn maze, and pick a bunch of apples. Shows how much that they really care about our community to keep it local. Ditmar's Orchards fits customers of all ages throughout the year. We are a family business. Uh, we like to do things for family. That's who we'd like to have here as families. And uh, we'd like the kids to have a good time. This annual event is held on September 23rd through the 24th. For your Council Bluffs News, I'm Jalen Hinkle. Still to come on Council Bluffs News, a look into how two organizations team up to make 14 new houses for families in need. And I sit down with George Voltz of Toastmasters to discuss their upcoming event. This is the story of a boy who didn't talk for a long time. The boy liked things to always be the same. Any changes would scare and upset him. The unknown was an unfriendly place. The boy was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where they couldn't get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. He wasn't trying to be mean, it just made him feel uncomfortable. Sometimes he would flap his arms again and again. One day, I found out I have something called autism. My family got me help. Slowly, I found my voice and learned all the ways I could live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org.
Hey, I'm Anderson Cooper. As a parent, you want to make sure that your child knows how to deal with bullying when they see it happening. And chances are they want to help, but they don't really know how. I'll teach them that the best thing to do is calmly walk away, find a teacher or other adult, and speak up. And do your part. Be that adult they can talk to and trust will listen. Join me to help stop bullying. Go to stopbullying.gov to find out more. If you drive buzzed, it could cost you around $10,000. You'll face major legal fees, major fines, and steep insurance penalties. You could lose everything. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. For three decades, thousands of Southwest Iowa athletes have relied on our team, Jenny Ed Sports Med. Our sole focus is to prevent, diagnose, and treat your sports injury. And with our partners at Ortho Nebraska, we assure you'll get your own personal roadmap back to action. Don't forget about our free walk-in clinic, open every Saturday morning, August through October. Jenny Ed Sports Med. Hello and welcome back to Council Bluffs News. I'm Brandon Severity with George Voltz from Toastmasters. Today, Mr. Voltz is going to explain the Art of Feedback event taking place at the Council Bluffs Public Library on September 27th. And how important is it for the people, you know, to soak in the experience? This is a practice arena, so the more that people are interact and do things, the more that they'll enjoy it. So, and the more they'll learn, too, because the more you practice, the better you are. As I was walking in, I saw the boys going out to practice, and I, I'm thinking, you know, they're going to go out to practice. People are going to come to our feedback event and learn how to practice doing feedback. And I saw that it's really uh, kind of like workplace focused, but will it help people uh, bring it outside of, their, outside of the workplace oh. and use it throughout life? You know, sometimes it's easier to talk about workplace because it's that thing that we do. But we interact all the time, whether it's in our churches, or with our children, with our spouses, with people we encounter. You know, sometimes you're just walking down the street and something happens and you need to interact. And so this is that kind of feedback. And it's how to do those critical conversations, how to do that critical listening because you know the biggest thing that sometimes we miss is we don't listen if we don't listen it's hard to speak so in a way this is almost like building confidence and helping with your social life with oh, interacting course. with everyone of course because I'm not sure how it is with you but I'm, I'm a pretty introverted person it's really hard for me to walk in with a group of strangers but we'll practice on how to interact with strangers, with other people, because it's, it's a function of feedback. That's how we connect with the world. And so I, we call it feedback, but it's actually connection. So yes, it's good for your social life. It'll be good for your family life. And yeah, you can probably use it at work too. <laughs> and then I just got to ask, um, does the viewers have to pay? No, 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 no. Toastmasters, for since... The day it was founded, which was back in 1924, it's kind of old, not as old as us. No, oh, no, 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 we're, <laughs> but uh, no, much older than we are. But it is based on the fact that, uh, that it's a sharing and to the extent that maybe there might be some pieces and parts, but this event is totally free. All right. Well, the event starts on September 27th from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. from the Council Bluffs Public Library. The event is called Art of Feedback. George, thank you so much for coming. Really thank appreciate you. it. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. More Council Bluffs news after the break.
What if you could invest in the future? The future of kids, like a stock. Not the kind of stock that's about making money, but a stock for social change. A whole new kind of investment called Better Futures. When you invest, it helps kids go to college. Believe in us, invest in us, watch us grow. My name is Sydney and I'm your dividend. Affordable housing can impact many families in many different ways. A former elementary school will now be converted to a handful of houses for the ones in need. It may be raining outside, but that isn't putting a damper on the event. It's a great thing to have people here. Monday, September 25th, locals attend a groundbreaking ceremony at what used to be the location for the Walnut Grove Elementary on Avenue J. <laughs> Back in 2014, the school closed its doors for good. With that, multiple organizations team up to use the space to make 14 affordable houses for families in need. NeighborWorks Home Solution, along with the Council of School Districts uh, and the City of Council Bluffs, were able to uh, purchase uh, the old school, uh, demolish it, do the lead abatement and asbestos, and remove everything and redevelop the property. The project is different from most as students from Iowa Western's construction technology program will be building the new homes. Our role in this project is coming in and building one to two residential homes a year with both our freshman and sophomore classes. So our students are learning. Many students in the program like Nelson Flores feels it's an important task and is a great thing to be a part of. Everybody needs a place to live. Everybody deserves a place to live. So it's a great opportunity and it's a privilege and an honor for us to do that for them. So. The privilege and honor of changing and impacting people's lives leaves some speechless. I mean, it's incredible feeling. I mean, just knowing that you're helping someone, being there for someone, you just can't put that into words and how that feels. In ways, it's not only making a positive impact to those families, but it's also a great addition for the neighborhoods of Council Bluffs. You take a whole block, you put several new houses on it, you bring in a new, bunch of new people, you give them new neighbors, you know, people move in from different places. It gives them jobs and, you know, it just helps the community as a whole. Officials say the students began the construction on August 21st. Rain or shine, long as the weather is safe, the building of the house will continue. For more information on the construction technology program, visit IWCC.edu.
Sunday, September 24th, it's a rainy day outside of Barley's Bar. After a storm hit Bayless Park, the bar is happily hosting Northern Men, an Irish band whose goal is sharing the love for their homeland through music. This is the 29th year the trio performs together, and the passion is very much alive within its members and the crowds who listen. Band member Liam McCurley expresses the importance of his family roots. Uh, many Americans have Irish ancestry and Irish roots, uh, and they want to celebrate that. Even though they're American, obviously they want to celebrate the fact that uh, their people came from Ireland. Friendship has brought this group together, and a love of music brings the fans, even when the weather disagrees. For your Council Bluffs News, I'm Zach Musil. Still to come on Council Bluffs News, you look at these friendly pets looking for a home at our Pets of the Week. Also, see Victor Rodriguez tell us what's going on around CB in our weekly events calendar. If you store your guns properly. So not just anyone can get to them. I'll feel safer when I'm playing outside. Safer when walking home. I won't have to tell so many family members. I'm sorry. I won't hear as many scary stories. Or scary news reports. I won't have to hold someone's hand and shout you're going to make it. And I won't have to tell my kids this isn't a drill. Please. 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 Do it for us. For us. Do it for us. Your family, friends, and neighbors are all counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. If you own a firearm and are not using it, please be responsible and be sure that it's stored in a safe place. Remember, always lock it up. For more information on firearm storage safety, visit ncpc.org. I'm a teacher. Let me tell you what I make. I make learning a privilege, not a chore, and frustration a tool, not an obstacle. I make working hard seem easy and giving up impossible. I make an old subject feel like a fresh thought and unconventional methods common. I'm a teacher. I make more. You wouldn't let money just blow out of your house. So when your AC or heater is on, make sure the doors, windows, and fireplace flue are shut tight. If you're headed out, turn down the AC or lower the heat by 10 degrees. And always keep your water heater set at 120. A little bit of common sense goes a long way. Get more great tips at energysaver.gov. Open up your books to page 360. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Talking about inspirational quotes. You gotta believe in yourself. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise, Louise, can you give me an example of an inspirational quote? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at getschool.com. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Getting that college education. What are you going to do? Graduate and take some office job? Be like everybody else. Or will you dare do something different? Like be a teacher. You could be my teacher. You got the skills. The smarts. Yes, you. You could be the teacher I never forget. That would be cool. Does that corporate job even have recess? What are you going to make of yourself? What are you going to make of me? time for a look at our weekly events calendar. On Tuesday, September 26th, former Nebraska football head coach Tom Osborne is at the Barley's Bar and Grill to speak to teammates Council Bluffs. 
Osborne created the organization over two decades ago and will speak about his Hall of Fame career and the impact young people can make. Appetizers will be served. Make sure you RSVP. The event runs from 5 to 7 p.m. For more information, email tdresser at cvcsd.org. Then on Wednesday, September 27th, an event called the Art of Feedback takes place at the Council Bluffs Public Library. This is an opportunity for many to learn how to give positive feedback and constructive criticism. There's no fee to attend and a light snack will be provided. The learning experience will run from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. For more information, call 712-326-9332. And finally, the Hitchcock Nature Center is hosting an evening with John Leo on Friday, September 29th. Leo is a world-renowned filmmaker and Lust Hills expert. Get the opportunity to listen to his stories and watch his presentation on, the, on his findings in the hills. Registration is required along with a $2 parking fee. The event starts at 7 p.m. For more information, visit podcoconservation.com. With your weekly events calendar, I'm Victor Rodriguez. Hello, I'm Terry Gatch Mills, and welcome to Pets of the Week. We're going to start off with this little sweetie named Maggie, and her file number is 25029. She's mostly white, but she is considered tabby. She's got a little bit of brown on her ears, on her back, and on her tail. She's a gorgeous little kitten five months old, who gets along great with other cats and kittens. Again, this is Maggie. Her file number is 25029. This little girl is Nugget, and her file number is 25541. She's a very sweet little cat, but a little bit timid. She gets along great with other cats and kittens, and she was raised in foster care. This is Nugget, file 25541. This is Lexi, and she's currently in foster care. She is a great dog. She's three years old. She's part lab and part boxer mix. She's a great dog. She's friendly with other dogs. Not so friendly with cats. Um, Lexi is currently in a foster home, so you will need to call Midlands Humane Society at 712-396-2270 to get some more information on her. She has a favorite toy, which is a porcupine toy that she absolutely loves. She's a real sweet dog. Um, she is very timid when you first meet her, but she warms up quickly. Uh, she's around 60 pounds, and she's a wonderful dog, and um, she's very active, likes to play. And again, this is Lexi, and please call 712-396-2270 and ask about Lexi in foster care. Thank you. This is our senior girl, Zoe, and her phone number is 25639. She's nine years old, and she's a Basset Hound mix. She's a sweet little dog, and she does get along with other dogs. She does howl. Um, so apartments are probably not recommended, or children under 10 years old. Again, this is Zoe, file 25639. And if you're interested in any of the pets that you've seen on today, please come down to Midlands Humane Society, located at 1020 Railroad Avenue in Council Bluffs. Thank you for tuning in and watching this week's Council Bluffs News. Feedback and story ideas are always welcome. You can hit us up with an email at cbtv at iwcc.edu or punch in 712 325-3312. You can look us up on social media as well. Search CBTV17 on Facebook and Twitter. Also, make sure you stay on CBTV and check out your local sports teams on the Bluff Sports Zone with J.J. Davis. For your Council Bluffs News, I'm Brandon Taverdi.